We've got our storage box kitchen. This side opens up, pulls out. You have in here all of our utensils. So, kind of show you that for just a quick second. So, all of our utensils, knives, silverware, everything for camp cooking. We've got our propane um, hose, a couple headlamps, some a sponge. Some cleaning soap, hand sanitizer, bug spray, lighter, all the essential goods. So when you close that on top, you've got the Lazy Susan with the jet boil uh, Genesis 2 system. So this thing can spin around, lock in place so you can stand here and cook. Or if you don't have the fridge side open, you can, oh, if I drop it in there. You can stand here and cook on the end. So that way you got a view like this. Or, if you so choose, you just leave it like this and cook from this side if you like. Uh, but what's nice about the Lazy Susan is when it swings out like that, it gives you more table space, counter space. Um, the Jet Boil, if you don't know what the Jet Boil Genesis 2 is, it's a two burner stove. Um, it has adjustable knobs so you can dial in your heat if you want it to be just on simmer or if you want it on full blown heat. If you want it just somewhere right in the middle, you can do that. Uh, and it comes with this, well, it doesn't, doesn't come with, but we've got this nice bag and we've got our pots and pans in here too. I'm not gonna take that out, but we just strap it down with a couple bungees. We've got in here, sorry, let me show you this. If you swing this all the way out, you can fully open these to load them. Um, right now we've just got a dish towel, a couple hot plates. Elizabeth didn't put the jet boil back up properly. We've got some salt, pepper, some snacks, paper plates, napkins, cutting board, toothpicks, uh, Yeti cup, all those goods. I gotta make a new stop for the bottom, but Top one is usually our food goods. So we've got just today was just a today trip. Um, so we just brought some chips, some stuff for Aspen, some paper towels. We always keep these um, little um, totes, uh, Tupperware, whatever. Uh, so we can eat out of them and store our stuff, whatever we don't eat back in the fridge. Um, some more snacks, donuts for in the morning. So that's our dry foods spot. Um, now with this thing fully open, you have counter space up on top here as well. Propane take up inside. We've got two gallons of water here that is drinkable. Uh, two gallons of fuel. All those goods. With this swung back open, we're closed. I'm going to shut the kitchen side. And with that shut, ooh. Turn the latches, close it and lock. The fridge side, it's kind of hard to see. I know you can see the reflection in me. You can see the temperature and all the settings. So we've got this little lever here. Open this up and then we can you know, actually change our settings. If I wanted to bump that up to 36, bump that up to 36. I needed the battery monitor on here, I could do that. Um, I probably should change this to Eco, and battery monitor one's fine. It'll last us <laughs> more than a night. Should last us a few days at least. We haven't tested it fully, but uh, how I typically open this is I open here. Once the top lever's latch is unlocked, open it up. Starting from the back, this is mainly storage. So we've got the Blue Eddy AC180. Um, the thing's big and it's <laughs> has a lot of power. We're at 87% since we've left the house and it's been running every time that the Jeep's been off. So right now I've got my little impact in here just to, we're trying out some new ground stakes that you can use an impact on so you don't have to hammer anything and un, you know pull them out. It's just real easy to drill them out. Some stuff for the awning, some extra batteries in case chainsaw and then Star of the show is 
the Iceco VL75 Pro D. So we've got, this is our drinks. We had our food in here as well. Um, this fridge, what's cool is either side can go, or if you wanted both, we'll let's see if I can film this and do it at the same time. I'll set up the camera real quick and show you. You can take both sides and lift the lid completely off if you needed to clean it or just access uh, while you're trying to load it. That's the one side. Um, fridge or freezer for that side. Same for this side. This side we have pretty much all of Aspen's goodies plus a couple uh, snack for us chocolate that I didn't want to melt. Some leftovers and yeah, mainly Aspen's drinks and food. Uh, this side's a little smaller, but same thing with the door. Door go flips either way. Um, and we've got this nice protective cover to help keep it insulated and just keep the fridge um, controlled. So that is the fridge side. I'm gonna shut this now. Shut that, shut that. Now this thing is sitting in here uh, and we have some turnbuckles in the front and then in the back, I'll show you, whip around to this side. We've got a little angle bracket on each side that holds this to the bed. It does a pretty dang good job.